Eight on your side continues to track COVID-19 cases at senior care facilities in the Bay Area. Tonight, new numbers showing the three outbreaks with the most deaths in Florida are at facilities in Pinellas, Manatee, and Polk Counties. 23 at Seminole Pavilion Rehab and Nursing Home, 18 at the Braden River Rehabilitation Center, and 18 at the Highlands Lake Center. Eight on your side's Justin Shecker is live outside a nursing home tonight with one of the worst outbreaks in Hillsborough County. Justin. Keith, good evening. With additional testing, the number of COVID-19 cases tied to the Bristol at Tampa has more than tripled in the last two weeks. And Sally, there have also been 10 deaths. A concerned viewer tells me she'd become more worried about her mom's health and well-being since the first time she contacted Eight on Your Side. With a marker and notebook. No favor. No call. <laughs> this is how Anita Court communicates with her 95-year-old mother through the window. You feeling all right? She also checks on her mom's friends. You just tell each other you love them, you know, and give them air hugs, and that's all you can do. The Bristol at Tampa announced on Saturday, May 2nd, per the Department of Health's recommendation, plans to test all residents and staff for COVID-19. I've been very nervous all this week waiting for those results. You think it was the right move to test everybody? Yes, I do. I think that should have been done from the beginning. According to updated state records, this is one of six senior care facilities in our viewing area with at least 10 resident deaths. To be able to protect these vulnerable residents is really, really important. While Aiden Your Side has pressed the governor to release more information about coronavirus outbreaks at facilities caring for Florida's most vulnerable, today he defended the state's response. I have the National Guard going to nursing homes. We've got 50 teams going out and testing. Court shared with Eight on Your Side the results of the tests that matter to her. The nurse in there told me that mom's uh, test results came back negative, as did her friends. And that was a wonderful Mother's Day present for me. And state records show all 57 residents who've tested positive have been transferred out of the Bristol at Tampa. More than 15 employers are also confirmed to have the virus. Now, as much as she wants to hug her mom this Sunday on Mother's Day, court tells me she understands the need for restricted access. We're live tonight in Hillsborough County. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.